Hey, let's discuss about Nest.js, which is a backend framework. And today we'll see why it's built for Angular developer. So let's jump into the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, we'll make videos like this, which is related to programming and web development. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. Today we'll discuss about Nest.js, which is a famous backend framework built on Node.js. And according to my experience, Nest.js, you can see is inspired from Angular and Spring Boot. Spring Boot, which is a Java framework and Angular, you guys know. So what they did mostly is they took some concept of Spring Boot or popular frameworks and a lot of concept from angular like if i trying to say we have pipes we have interceptor we have guards we have services we have modules we have dependency injection and a lot of things which is quite similar to angular so if you know angular quite well or if you know angular decent enough then you should look at nest.js even if if you are not working on backend and if you already know backend means if you're already working on backend and you are working with some other framework please have a look on nest.js because it builds up on node.js and it's quite awesome how it handles things and all and to start with nest.js we need our nest cli and to install nest cli we can write a similar command to angular cli which is npm install hyphen g at nest slash cli i have already installed nest in my system so i will just go ahead and start a project and to start a project we can use the cli command in angular we use ng and here it's nest so it's nest new and your project name and it will ask us like which package we want like npm yarn or pump so i will go with npm then it will create a simple project for us and we'll go inside and, and we'll see what all it's created. So before you look into the code, I'd just like to say that Nest uses Express by default. If you want to use Fastify, you can go and change it and it start using Fastify. So that, that's the beauty of having an architecture framework that you don't need to worry much about how the abstraction things works. If I'll open the application in the VS code, if you see here, we have source and test. Source is where we have our application code and test is for testing. If I go inside the source and now you can relate a lot what I was talking about with C similar to Angular. So if you see here, we have app service.ts, main.ts, app module.ts. And I know you can relate app controller.ts and a spec file. And I will explain what's a controller here. So if you go to the main TS and the main.ts is responsible for the bootstrap of your application, similar to Angular. In our bootstrap method, what we are doing is we are using nest factory, which is a factory method, which is creating app instance from our app module. And we'll go and go and see inside what's inside the app module is. And we are saying our app should be listened to port 3000. So in a short note, our bootstrap method is saying that our app will be now hosted in port 3000. So now if we go inside our app module, here also you can relate similar to ng module, we have a at the rate module, which has imports, controllers, and providers. I think imports and providers, you know, if you know Angular, but if you don't know Angular, so imports are like external modules, which you need to import inside your app module. And providers are the external services. And what is a service? I will explain, which need to be used inside our app module. Now we come to the controllers. So controllers, you just think like your entry point to your project when you have some API endpoints. So controller is responsible to exposing those API endpoints. So your controller should only be responsible for getting the call from UI calling the services or calling other methods and responding back with a desired response. So if we'll go inside our controller, here you can see that we have a class as app controller and we have a decorator here, which is at the red controller. And it says that now our this class will be registered as a controller. And if you not give any path inside this, that means 
it will be to the base means your slash but if you want to give some path like suppose user now your this control will be accessed via slash user so in our case localhost 3000 slash user and if you know http methods then you know that we have some http verbs those are get put post delete patch so similar to that we have some decorators in nest so we have at the red gate at the red post at the red put and at the red deletes and so more so if you want a method to be a get call then you can write at the red get so suppose if you want this to a post call then we, you, we can write at the red post and nest will make this as a post call obviously you need a request body and all but that's a separate scenario and if you want to give some specific path like we have discussed for the whole controller but if if you want to give a spe uh, specific path for a specific method then you can do like this but it has lot more than what i'm explaining now and we will cover all in a separate video just dedicated to controllers like what are methods we what we can have how how you can use middleware how we can use interceptors and all so we'll cover it in depth in upcoming videos so please stay tuned for that now if we'll see that what is a service if we'll go inside our app service you can see we have at the red injectable that means now this class this app service can be injected to a instance of your module that means state of this service will be accessible to this module and as is injectable that means it is injected as a singleton instance so now if you see here we have get hero get hello which is returning hello world fun of heuristic which we are calling from our get hello method which is a get call for our service now we will go to our package.json and here if we see we want to start our application to start our application there, there is two ways you can just run npm run start which is just do and nest start but i want to start the application with watch mode so i i will do npm run start dev so I just go here and i will start the application with watch mode if you'll go to the application here if you see i have just hit localhost 3000 by default browser makes a get call as you haven't provided any path here so it's hitting this method and from this method we are calling our app service get hello and this is returning hello world and now if you want to go for slash test and we can test that here slash test and if you see we are returning hello directly from there so that we that we got in the response back so this is just a tip of an iceberg what Nest can do. So Nest.js is a complete backend framework and we're going to see all in our future videos and means in this series. So we'll see how we're going to connect with databases, how you're going to use ORM to handle your databases and how we're going to divide your Nest service to multiple microservices, how to integrate with it with Docker and and multiple things i also haven't covered like guards pipes interceptor and all that which we're going to cover as a separate videos because those are in-depth concept we need to cover so this video i just made just to give a overview and just to start towards backend development so please hit the like button if you like the video till now please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos Please do share this video among your friends, family, colleagues, so that they also know that how awesome Nest is. We're going to meet in the next video. Till then, stay happy. Bye-bye.